So, of course, we've got Jurassic World uh, Fallen Kingdom coming out this weekend. And I've decided, you know, I'm just going to go and, you know, binge watch all of the, all of the films. Uh, you know, Jurassic Park, Jurassic, I mean, The Lost World, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park 3. I'm going to watch all those movies. And I'm going to watch Jurassic World. And then, of course, Fallen Kingdom this weekend. And um, I'm going to be coming out with my rankings video pretty soon. Just ranking all the movies. But I just had to talk about this scene because it is really one of my favorite scenes in like Jurassic Park history, man. I absolutely love this scene. So it's, I'll say, okay, so in the second movie, The Lost World Jurassic Park, John Hammond decides, okay, uh, he just drops this freaking bomb on Ann Malcolm and tells him like, look, we have a, we had a whole new island that nobody knew about. Uh, we did some experimental dinosaur stuff on that island. Then we took the dinosaurs from that island and we shipped them over to uh, the the actual park. And he tells Ian Malcolm that, you know, uh, we have to tell people and prove people that these dinosaurs are real. Uh, they cannot be exploited. Uh, they can't be, uh, you know, uh, people are going to go to the island and try to grab these anim these uh, these creatures and try to exploit them and do all these, you know, other stuff with them. It's just, just crazy messed up stuff. So John Hammond tries to prevent that and tries to convince uh, Malcolm to go to the island. And Malcolm is like, hell to the now, to the now, 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 hell to the now, to the now, to the now, to the <laughs> But so basically, man, M, uh, and Malcolm is like, you know what? No, I'm not going to the island. But then John Hammond drops another bomb and says, oh, well, your girlfriend is there. So you got to kind of, you, you got to, you have to go now because you got to go save her. And reluctantly, uh, reluctantly, uh, Jeff Goldblum's character decides to go to the island. And uh, his, his daughter, uh, you know, decides to sneak up on uh, the boat with them unknowingly. So now he has both his daughter and his girlfriend on this island where he doesn't want to be and he doesn't want them to be. And as soon as he hits the island, man, as soon as him and his other crew hits the island, it really it does become about survival. Uh, they're trying to do this research, trying to prove to the public that the dinosaurs exist, that they're real. Uh, and also they discover this other faction uh, employed by the, the, the company Engine, which is behind the dinosaurs uh, being created in the first place. They're, they they are behind this uh, engine is behind this sort of faction of like hunters or, or whatever. And uh, Jeff Goldblum and his crew discovers that they're trying to, of course, exploit these dinosaurs, capture them, and then bring them back to America, which is a terrible idea. So, of course, they have to stop it. We have to stop this. We cannot allow this to happen. Uh, Jeff Goldblum, and I love throughout the movie, he's just like, you guys should not be here. We need to go. This is ridiculous. I like how Vince Vaughn and, and other characters are like, oh, wow, this is amazing. And then, you know, Jeff Goldblum's like, oh, Yes, yes, um, yeah, wow, oh, you know, it's the wow, and ooh, and ah, and now, and and the screaming, and running later. <laughs> I love Jeff Goldblum, man, he's awesome. But yeah, and so, yada, 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 we get to the scene uh, where, um, where one of the hunters, like the, the, the one guy who's actually leading the pack, or who's, he's like, he's like sort of the leader I want to say, um, forget his, the, ah, man, what's the, Roland, the guy's name is Roland. He's an awesome character, by the way. Really great character. Uh, there's a deleted scene that really fleshes out his character that I thought they should have left in the movie, but that's neither here or there. Uh, so, yeah, Roland captures this baby T Ty Tyrannosaurus Rex so that he can uh, draw out, you know, the mother or whatever. And uh, when Vince Vaughn sees it, Vince Vaughn decides, oh, you know, he has this bright idea. I'm going to go over and I'm going to grab this Tyrannosaurus Rex, this Rex, free it from captivity. And I'm going to take it into our van. <laughs> I'm going to take this T-Rex into our van because it has a broken lead and me and the doc, uh, you know, Jeff Goldblum's girlfriend, uh, me and her, we're going to try to fix this leg and get this thing some help. And it's like, dude, this is not a regular animal. It's not a regular creature. This is a freaking dinosaur. D that was your first mistake. 
<laughs> now, don't get me wrong, man. There are some lot of boneheaded decisions made during this scene. It's so freaking hilarious. And it's like, why, 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 why? But, you know, these guys making all these grave mistakes, they're new to the island. They, they think they know what's going to happen. They think they know these dinosaurs for real. But, I mean, you've only studied fossils and things of that nature. You really haven't seen the thing, these things up close. And so when they kept, when they sort of take the 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 T Rex, the baby T Rex into their trailer, Jeff Goldblum is just like, "What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Get it out of here! <laughs> this makes no sense at all." They take the T Rex, man. They're trying to fix the leg. This thing is howling and screaming. And then all of a sudden, uh, you know, Jeff, all of a sudden, the freaking T-Rex, not only does mother, does, does, does mama come back for her baby, but papa comes back too. And oh my goodness, <laughs> it is such a great scene. See, what I like about the Lars World Jurassic Park is that it was pretty much just, it was a straight on sort of action thriller. Um... I believe that Steven Spielberg kind of knew or maybe he didn't want to recreate the sort of magic that, you know, that was in Jurassic Park. Maybe he knew that he couldn't recreate that sort of magic. And so he did Lost World uh, Jurassic Park as sort of a straight, full on suspense action thriller type movie, uh, because there's a different tone and different look to it throughout. I think the camera work is still something to is like still noteworthy, uh, something I can't really say about Jurassic World. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, it's and this scene. It's so freaking suspenseful. When I remember seeing it in the theater as a kid and I was on the edge of my seat, I was like, oh my goodness, they're about to die. Because they have this big, huge trailer parked conveniently at the end of a mother freaking cliff. With a, uh, what are you guys thinking about? And so when the T-Rexes come back, they're just banging, they're banging, they're banging, they're banging on this thing and, and they're, uh, they're trying, you know, because, well, first they, when the, when the mama papa show up, they take the T-Rex and they like, here you go, here's the baby. Sorry for taking your baby. You know what I'm saying? Look, we fixed his legs. Don't hurt us. And so they go back into the, 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 the trailer and they think, oh, well, everything's going to be cool. And then, you see that face on Jeff Goldblum. He's like, "Hang on, this is gonna be bad." Boom! And then all of a sudden, the, the freaking the, the 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 dinosaurs just start hitting the hell out of the trailer. And then this bad boy is about to just flip over, and 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 they're just they're freaking you know scared for their lives. They're trying to get out the uh, out of the side door, and they can't get the door open. And then as the the, the uh, dinosaurs are constantly hitting it and hitting it and hitting it, and then all of a sudden, you know, once they realize they can't get out, Ben Vaughn's like, hang on to something! <laughs> and, and, and then for some reason, Jeff Goldblum, you know, repeats it, hang on to something! And, and then, you know, there, I mean, dude, it is such, such a... Steven Spielberg is so great at these sorts of scenes, man. And it was such a suspenseful moment that you knew, man, it, it's about to get real. And when they knock this bad boy over, now you have all three of our heroes, like, literally dangling for their lives over a cliff. And unfortunately, uh, his girlfriend, I can't think of her name. What was her name? Sarah. Sarah falls. And because she's hanging on to like a door, of a refrigerated door, and it opens and she falls onto the freaking glass and the glass begins to slowly crack. Oh, my goodness. She just boom. And when she falls on that glass, you're thinking, I mean, in the back of my head, I'm just like, oh, snap. It's about to go. She about to die. You know what I'm saying? She is not about to survive this shit. Oh, God dang. And man, it, oh my goodness, man. And she's like slowly trying to get up. She's like, don't move, don't move. And then at the same time, while Malcolm is, you know, he's climbing down. He's like, okay, I got to get to her. He's climbing down, trying to get to her. And then you got this freaking camera. It's just dangling. It's just dangling. And, you know, it's going to slide off. It, it's, it's, dangling off it's dangling off something. And... And Vince Vaughn's character tries to grab it. And again, he does, he, he yells again, Heads up! 
And I was like, oh snap, why didn't you grab the camera, fool? And that camera came crashing on the glass and it burst the glass. Oh my goodness, man. And, and that freaking that freaking backpack, that lucky backpack, Jeff Goldblum looks at her and says, it's your lucky backpack. <laughs> and she's just dangling by that freaking backpack. And oh my goodness, man. I, I, I really thought these guys were about to die in this scene. The, the scene, the scene, like I said, I mentioned earlier about the camera work. And I absolutely love the camera work in this movie. I think it's just as good, in my opinion, as the first film. Um, and the way the trailer tosses around and it does this whole like sort of 360 thing. And you can see the whole thing and the actors are being tossed in the trailer. Uh, I want to know how they did. I, I mean, I should look behind the scenes and see how they did that effect because I thought that was just freaking awesome. Um, and how it sort of had, you know, I don't know. It, it, it I think this would have been cool if it were in 3D because with the, you know, it. I mean, it has some depth to it, um, especially when you see them hanging and when, you know, the actual trailer sort of falls, like sort of, right through them kind of sort of you know what you know what i'm saying you've seen the scene before but it's not it kind of just falls through them i thought that was a pretty cool moment but it's just i mean i don't know man this scene was just a testament to uh spielberg's ability to uh create suspense uh and create excitement in the viewer i know when i when i was watching this scene man i was on the edge of my seat it was oh my goodness it was so freaking good some of those uh when you have those moments where the music's playing and then it stops and then like for a character to say, hold on to something or, you know, heads up, you know, it's just that silence and that, and that one. And that just, when he yells that it's like, man, it just, it, it ratchets up the tension, man. And you're like, oh my goodness, man, something bad and terrible is about to happen. Or, you know, it just, it makes the, I don't know. It kind of just enhances the urgency of the scene and how dire the situation is. It's such a phenomenal theme, man. It ends with the heroes being rescued by the people that were the, by the poachers. Uh, ah, man, I can't forget that my man's, I forget the guy's name, but he was an unfortunate casualty. Man, he was really trying to save him. <laughs> you got to give it to him. He was really trying to save him, but them T-Rex got to him and tore him in half, man. Oh, my goodness. I freaking love that scene.